There's a feature in Windows 10 called background scrolling. Now some people do not like this feature and want to turn it off and some really like this feature and want to turn it on. And this video will deal with both scenarios. Now what exactly is background scrolling? Let's open up two apps on our screen here. First we'll start off with a regular old internet search and let's just search for YouTube videos. Seems that's what we're dealing with. And we'll also open up Microsoft Word. Okay, let's just move Word off to the right-hand side. And we all know if you just click on the menu bar at the top of any open application, you can throw the window off to the right-hand side. And we'll do the same with our YouTube search. We'll throw that off to the left-hand side. So we can see both open on the screen at the same time. So let's open up a document in Word. Now, here's a trick for those that are doing videos and you want to learn something about Microsoft Word. Just type in equals R-A-N-D for random. There's two things that you put into the parentheses. How many paragraphs that you want. So say we want 10, 20 paragraphs. And in those 20 paragraphs, we want each paragraph to be 15 lines long. As soon as we hit enter here, watch what happens. It automatically generates a whole bunch of random text of 20 paragraphs long with 15 lines per paragraph. Word is our currently active window and we can see we're scrolling up and down no problem. If we simply move our mouse off to the left hand side into our YouTube search here and scroll, you'll see our active window is still scrolling. That's called background scrolling. To turn this feature on, click on start, go into settings, Search for devices. Once you've found devices, mouse on the left hand side. And at the bottom here, you'll see the option that says scroll inactive windows when I hover over them. Turn that feature on. Now watch what happens. If you note, we we'll still, ha still have Microsoft Word as our active window. And if we move our mouse over to the left hand side and hit the scroll button, there we go. That's scrolling now as well. Where this comes in handy is if you're in a production environment and you're copying data from a Word document or text or you're looking up information in Excel that you want to put into an email, this is really handy so you don't have to constantly switch between active applications. If you don't like it, again, we can simply just turn it off or if it works for you, leave it turned on because by default, this feature should be turned on now in Windows 10. Anyway, folks, until the next video, have a fantastic day and we'll catch you later. Bye now.